Welcome to HB RV Lifestyle. I'm the Honey Badger, giving it to you straight in the RV business. As always, today we're gonna to do a walkthrough on this Wolf Pup Black Label 16 BHS. It's got frameless windows. It's got little off-road tires to it. Of course, you got your dump station. This big door actually is storage or can be storage. And I'll show you inside when we go inside, but you can actually lift up the bunk bed and put like coolers and stuff like that in there. You got your spare tire. Up here, you got your backup camera. Now look at the size of this awning. It pretty much almost covers the entire side of the trailer. And I am doing this a little different. Normally I do a voiceover after I, with some music in the background. I'm trying something a little different if you're wondering. Uh, right here is your outside little refrigerator. Now what is kind of cool we look for it down here, besides the stabilizers, there is a propane quick connect. There it is right there. There's your propane quick connect for your little outside barbecue if you want one. So it's got stabilizers, it's got electric tongue jack, no more cranking. It'll come with one propane tank. That's just because of the actual tongue weight, okay? Now, if you want the tongue weight, Look in the description box below. I'll link this unit from the Forest River website. But if you look here, let's look close. 4,999 pound GVWR. Let's go find the dry weight. Easiest way to do that with a Forest River product is to go straight into the door. 3,693 pounds. That's the dry weight. So very SUV total. So if you have a 5,000 pound tow capacity, this is perfect for you. So that's a queen bed. Now, unlike the regular Wolf Pup, this thing actually has a better mattress. Now, I do have some things to say about the company that makes these mattresses. First of all, the name is Sorta. Haha, -ha, like sort of a mattress. But this is a better quality mattress than they put in the regular Wolf Pup. It also, in the corner there, has an inverter outlet. So that inverter outlet will run on the battery. They got USB ports to charge your phones. Those work really well, guys. I actually use one uh, in my uh, fifth wheel. Booth dinette. As you can tell, these cabinets have a lot of space to them. Good storage. The only thing it's really missing is like clothing storage. You have to get kind of creative with that. Now I'll show you where you can get creative with that in just a second. Creativity is gonna be with suitcases. So if I actually pull this up, you're gonna see a handle right there. Pull it up. There's some storage to access the outside so you can put some suitcases down there. Okay. Now you also have storage underneath the booths, which I did not, I'm not gonna show in this video because I try to keep these down to five minutes or less. In the kitchen above, of course, the same cabinet is throughout every single brand. It's basically for pots, pans, things of that nature. Now, this is kind of different. They've started going to this one-piece sink, but the circular sink. So that's pretty cool to give you additional counter space, but still have a deep enough sink for those pots and pans. Okay. Now, this is something some folks complain about. They don't like the two-burner stove. I'm going to tell you something, folks. The two burner stove gives you more counter space and realistically you're camping. Let's be real. You're going to be out camping in this. You're not living in it, right? So you're only going to cook one or two things at a time anyway. Oven wise, most people are taking air fryers with them. So they're starting to get away from the oven to give you more storage. Of course, you got access to work on your plumbing and on the other side, more areas to put dishes, you know, maybe a little pantry area. This is that bunk bed I was talking about. See the access to that door? So that access, you can actually lift this bunk up and put like coolers and stuff like that. This is a 12 volt refrigerator because this unit, this travel trailer is uh, equipped with solar. So it gives you a little deeper refrigerator than the propane electric. And then if we go in here, this is a pretty nice bathroom for a small little trailer. You still get some good chicken wing space around the toilet, but you get an awesome shower head. I wish I had that shower head in my fifth wheel. And then you can actually wash your hands in here as well. It has a little sink. 
Uh, and then of course you got a little tub slash shower pan. And that actually helps with folks that are taller because there is no skylight in the ceiling. But they do give you a big fan. Now, if you're interested in this particular one that I'm doing this video on, it's actually located at the RV Exchange in Pahrump, Nevada, where I work, just outside of Las Vegas. So an hour outside of Las Vegas, rvexchangeoutlets.com. I'll put all the information about the dealership, how to contact me, including my email in the description box below. And if you guys are lucky enough, in the top right-hand corner, you're going to see another small travel trailer walkthrough.